It makes me angry when people will take an exception from the left and declare it as being the rule. They'll take the extreme left and declare it as being something that has power and something that has a lot of cloud. It has a lot of ability to, to actually make change and not just make people upset or shut down a college like, you know, Evergreen that probably only has a couple more years left, if that. But we'll turn around and declare that the other side that has power to state negative things about those who have power is is being extreme. Well, don't judge don't judge all Republicans on the ones that have power. I'm like I'm judging the ones that have power because they have power. And if you keep voting these people that have messed up beliefs, if you keep voting them in power, it kind of gives people it it if you still somehow support them, you know, it's not just, well, I voted for the party. I don't really like what the guy's doing or whatever. No, no, you still just give them all this support, but you don't want, you see, it's just, you, you want it your way and your way and your way and your way. It's you, you, the right goes for it all. And anything that gets in the way of this, this whole plan, you know, is, and the whole plan is to, you know, overall is to get everyone more conservative, go back to more conservative values, be go back to nationalism. Um, and Nash, I'm not saying nationalism is always bad, but it sure can lead there pretty quickly. Um, you know, with the right, there is generally no compromise. They go with their hard position from the start and... They just do very little compromising. The left, on the other hand, compromises their position from the very start before they even present it to the right. Then they compromise it more when they, you know, bring it to the right. You know, this is, this is when, when it comes to actual policy. This is when it comes to the people that actually have power, the Democrats that have power. Okay, and that's what really matters here, not the, not the extreme opinions of people at college campuses who are ruining those colleges like at Evergreen, you know, people are learning that, hey, when you act that way, it, it has consequences and that college is probably not going to be around for too much longer, right? What really should be happening, though, is they should both be compromising. Both sides should be compromising. But all the compromising has went on the left side. That's why we still don't have universal health care. It's why college tuition is as ridiculous as it is. It's why there's a number of messed up things that haven't been taken care of. How about private prisons? How about corporate welfare? How about tax loopholes? How about real campaign finance reform? So what we're left with is a dysfunctional government. And again, you know, as I've said, the right just goes for what they want, period. They don't compromise. This is why we're so concerned about someone like Trump being in office. It's, it's kind of a big deal. At least with the Bush administration, as awful as it was, there was at least a slight chance of there being some compromising going on. Like I said, the left are the ones that always do the compromising. So yes, we're freaking out that the, the right has taken over so much. Because the right just does it they just go for what they want and fuck whoever it you know the collateral damage oh well you know the numbers are what matter you know the how well rich people are doing is what matters and you know how well poor people are doing doesn't matter i guess the the jobs numbers you know the unemployment numbers matter but some of those are false just because some people drop out of the, uh, I mean, you know this, people drop out of the market of looking for work and they're no longer it, marked as being unemployed. So, you know, we don't, it's, that number has always been kind of messed, but um, nevertheless, um, you know, Republicans want to get certain numbers up while the deficit can go crazy. I mean, like how, you know, Trump recently said, he, you know, why can't we just print more money? 
That's the kind of mindset. It's, you know, Republicans talk about Democrats being bad at the economy because they like to spend a lot. Republicans like to to just cut the, the funding for everything, watch the deficits go up, and then, and then say, oh, well, look, these programs aren't working anymore, so they can just cut all the, the you know, important programs. You know, remove all the safety nets while, you know, the, while the rich people get richer. That's That's the methodology. Sorry, you know. Does it work for rich people? Yeah, it works great. And, and you watch all the, the stock market goes up and there's a number of other numbers go up. Well, you know, millions of people suffer. But it's cool though, right? Because you got an R by your name and you're spreading traditional values because family values. I remember that term being used a lot in, in, in the 90s, um, you know, during campaigns. Uh, family values. I stand for family values. I, I'm sure people remember that. And so here we've got someone like Trump and conservatives have thrown away their traditional values, all the things that were good about their traditional values. They've thrown all those away in order to support Trump because they just... They're just getting so, so drunk off the power. That's why so many of Republicans are, you know, essentially towards any Democrats that are that are freaking out. The Republicans, like I said in my other video, they're acting like the bullies uh, on a playground that are tossing one of the kid. There, there's a bunch of bullies around. They're all standing on different sides and they're tossing the kids' belongings back and forth, and the kids freaking out and just having a tantrum and just becoming completely unglued. And the more they, they become unglued, the more, the more the bullies laugh and say, ha ha, nothing you can do, ha ha. And yet they're trying to claim that all Democrats care about is power. And it's just like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You guys are basking in this power, being real assholes about the whole thing. Oh, but we're not getting violent. Well, why would you get violent when you're the ones that have the power. You're the ones that are acting like the, the like I said, the, the bullies tossing the, the kids' stuff back and forth and laughing because they're freaking out. Yeah, they're, they're freaking out. The left is freaking out. They shouldn't freak out like they are, but the right sh also shouldn't gloat and, and do this, ha ha, Trump won, nothing you can do about it, snowflake. That kind of attitude. I mean, I even saw this, this video recently of someone at Disneyland, or was it Disney World? They got this huge, they took out this huge banner in this place, this main area that people could see, this huge uh, Trump 2020 banner. And it's just like, you got, what? You know, this is the way these people act. I'm sorry. It's some some people. It's it's like a fucking cult. You know, but you want to follow a leader. You want to have a good leader. Well, he's showing himself to be a shitty leader. He's got the right, per, you know, the narcissistic personality that that seems to to work, and people are used to worshiping television figures. So you know, but. I just want to say in this video, because I, I, I'll, I'll get to what eventually made me make this video, but I'm going to judge someone based off of the mindsets that they spread. If someone tells me that they're a Republican, but everything that they say is very liberal, I'm not going to think of them as a Republican. I, I don't care how they self-label themselves. I'm going to think, I'm going to look at them based off of the way that they view the issues. And if the only thing that someone says is criticizing the left for everything, never criticizing the right, and then sometimes going over the top as to, they'll take something that's an exception in a group and make it the rule. You know, they'll take the extreme behavior of some very unfortunate people at a college and make it sound like that's the rule. Oh, someone on Twitter, some unknown person on Twitter said something you don't like. Oh, this is what the left is up to. Some asshole on, on you know, on Twitter said that, uh, oh, uh, LGBTP Oh, look, see, look what the, the gay community is up to. And it goes right back to the, it, it's, I'm sorry, it, it's the same shit kind of shit that you'd see from like the 700 Club.
20, 30 years ago. Same kind of shit. And, show, and, and channels like the Daily Wire, really, you know, they're like, they are kind of like the new 700 Club. Though the 700 Club still exists, but, I mean, generally only old people watch it, right? Unless it's someone on the, on the, <laughs> who's not necessarily, <laughs> who's going out of their way to support the arguments of the, of the, the far right or the alt right or the part of the right that judges women poorly and black people poorly and immigrants poorly and you know that sort of thing they'll actually use uh you know cbn they'll use the 700 club they'll use their material as you know oh look this is proof that uh there's Muslim go no no go areas, and it's taking over and it's spreading and and nobody's doing anything. And to say something about it will land you in jail. And blah 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 blah. blah. You know you'll 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 use seven hundred club uh, footage for that, and and commentary for that. You know. <laughs> anyway, where was I going? Um, if all someone does is support the positions of the right, the alt-right, the far-right, the, the, you know, the, you're, you're saying things that bolster their views, then you should expect to, if not be actually considered having those views, um, you should expect to be considered part of a network that spreads those views. I'm sorry, you, 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 can't, you can't be all upset because someone's saying you're spreading right-wing views that, that bolster the negative part of the nationalist side of things. You're, you're bolstering uh, race realism. You're bolstering this idea that we should be cramming certain values down everyone's throats. You know, you're you're promoting this idea that uh, to be too different from from society should should get you uh, criticized. You should be made fun of. Yeah, if you're pushing that kind of thing, expect to be considered at least at the very least part of a network that promotes right wing views. And and you, and you can get all upset. Well, right wing, you know, it's it's all well, yeah, it's all about conserving. Conserving the culture, trying to make sure things don't change too much. And you know what? We do need a certain amount of that. We need a nice set of checks and balances, but our government is broken right now. As I've said, the right just, when they, they just go for everything. And when they get power, they, they, they are the most power hungry when it comes to that. They don't try to do, make any compromises, you know? And then the left, makes all the compromises to, to ridiculous degrees. They, like I said, they compromise before they bring something to the table and then they compromise more when they're, when they're working with the, with, with the right. That's why we've, we've rarely gotten what really needs to, to be put into place, put into place. We let the, gov the, the, the right wing win. The, the right wing is there to win. The left wing, I'm sorry, the left, I mean, there, there are don't get me wrong, you got, you got some of these individuals and some of these groups that want to just win, but generally the left just has, in, in here in the United States, just wants things to be better. They just want things to improve. They don't want to just keep things exactly as they are. You know, they especially want to improve things for marginalized groups. And the thing that's been said lately is if you, if you want to improve things for marginalized groups, that's Marxism, that's the lead to Stalin, oh God, just, oh my goodness. Did the uh, Civil Rights Act since 1964, have, have those led, are those going to lead to Stalinism? Fuck. If we let someone trans use the bathroom of their choice, are we going to have gulags next? Now, granted, as I've said before, there are some things that are that are just being pushed that are ridiculous. The the uh, the idea of the going beyond two genders. No, no, no. Sorry, no. You're not going to completely change society on that. No, 
No, that's that's a you know pushing that. If you personally want to, you know, refer to yourself with your friends, your other friends, and you want to refer to yourselves in this different way than the rest of society, no one's stopping you. No one's stopping you. But the moment you start demanding how other people refer to you and you, and you want these different things, I'm I'm sorry. No, it's it's not a reasonable thing to push. It's not. You know, I personally will do my best to try to, to, to satisfy, you know, what it is that people are wanting to be referred to as, but damn it, you can't push that on society and expect that to go very well, you know? You know, and that is something that I think, you know, that is a step too far. And that is something worth saying, hey, that's too far. But the people pushing for that aren't making laws. And the ones who do make laws make compromises all the time. So you really, you're really worried about this shit? From, from a party, from the Democratic Party that compromises their way into, into almost nothingness? You're worried about that? because of some, what some college people are doing? You're worried about that because of what some Antifa people are doing? You think those people are, are a, a decent representation of the Democratic Party? And you can go, well, they're, they're, they're acting so awful. And I'm thinking, yeah, and look at, look at the beliefs of the KKK and a number of other groups. Look at what they promote. Now you can say, well, they're not actually going out and doing, uh, they're not uh, causing chaos. No, but why would they? They have more power now than they have, they have in the last 40 years or so. They've got more power. They, they have, they feel vindicated. What, what do they have to riot about? What do they have to be violent about? Now, if we had another, you know, the next president declared that the KKK and white nationalist groups, they're all terrorist groups, then you, then you can believe that uh, they'd probably start getting violent.